Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1772, Catherine the Great of Russia ends the tax on men with beards. Yep, there was a tax to have a beard. In 1808, John Jacob Astor incorporates the American Fur Company, eventually making him America's first millionaire. In 1830, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was formed in Fayette, New York. In 1862, Union troops clashed with Confederates in southwestern Tennessee at the Battle of Shiloh. In 1865, at the Battle of Sailor's Creek, General Robert E. Lee's Confederate Army fights its last major battle. In 1869, celluloid is patented. In 1886, the city of Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada is incorporated. In 1893, Andy Bowen and Jack Burke's boxing match lasts for 7 hours 19 minutes, which was 111 rounds. And guess what? The fight ended with no winner. In 1896, the first modern Olympic Games opens in Athens. In 1906, the world's first animated cartoon is released by J. Stuart Blackton. He calls it Humorous Phases of Funny Faces. In 1917, the United States declared war on Germany and entered World War I. In 1924, history's first around-the-world airplane flight begins today. In 1925, British Airlines shows the first film on an airplane. In 1926, Varney Airlines makes its first commercial flight. We now call them United Airlines. In 1930, Hostess Twinkies are invented by bakery executive James Dewar. In 1931, today was the first broadcast of Little Orphan Annie on NBC Radio. Also in 1931, the film A Connecticut Yankee, based on a novel by Mark Twain and starring Will Rogers, is released. In 1934, 418 Lutheran ministers are arrested in Germany. It is getting more and more dangerous to live there. In 1936, a tornado kills 203 people and injures 1,800 more in Gainesville, Georgia. In 1938, Teflon is invented by Roy J. Plunkett. In 1941, Nazi Germany launches Operation 25, the invasion of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia and Operation Marita which is the invasion of Greece. Also in 1941, today starts Operation Bestrafun, when German bombers attack Belgrade and kill 17,000 people. In 1944, a Jewish nursery in France is overrun by Nazis, and I don't mean a plant nursery. I'll just let that sink in for a second. In 1945, trying to hide their atrocities from the world, Nazis begin evacuating prisoners from Buchenwald concentration camp. Also in 1945, in the other World War II arena, the giant Japanese battleship Yamato is ordered to Okinawa with orders for the crew to beach the ship and be destroyed defending the island. In 1947, the Tony Awards were presented for the first time today. Arthur Miller, David Wayne, and Patricia Neal win for theatrical achievements. In 1957, New York City ends trolley car service. In 1959, at the 31st Academy Awards, Gigi, Susan Hayward, and David Niven win. In 1965, Intel Sat-1 is launched. It is the first commercial communication satellite. In 1968, gas and gunpowder explosions at a sporting goods store in downtown Richmond, Indiana, kills 41 people and injures more than 150 more. In 1970, in what is called the Newhall Incident, four California Highway Patrol officers are killed in a shootout. In 1972, called the Easter Offensive, American forces begin sustained airstrikes and naval bombardments during the Vietnam War. In 1973, Ron Bloomberg of the New York Yankees became the first designated hitter in Major League Baseball. In 1974, leading directly to their huge success, Today, Sweden's ABBA captured the top prize at the 19th annual Eurovision Song Contest with their song, Waterloo. Also in 1974, 200,000 people attend the California Jam Rock Festival in Ontario, California. The lineup included Earth, Wind & Fire, Black Sabbath, Deep Purple, and Emerson, Lake & Palmer, among many others. 
That would have been awesome to see. In 1975, the Rocky Horror Picture Show closes at the Belasco Theater in New York City after 45 performances. Also in 1975, Ted Bundy victim Denise Oliverson disappears from Grand Junction, Colorado. In 1977, a judge rules that the Beatles' 1962 Hamburg album can be released. Also in 1977, the Seattle Kingdom opens. The Mariners lose to the Angels 7-0. In 1980, 3M Company begins selling post-it notes in U.S. stores. What in the world would we do without them? In 1984, Challenger 5, the 11th NASA Space Shuttle mission, launches. This is the first time there are 11 people in space, unless you count those green guys out the window. In 1987, at the 22nd Academy of Country Music Awards, Hank Williams Jr., Randy Travis, and Reba McIntyre win. Also in 1987, the Los Angeles Dodgers general manager appears on ABC News Nightline saying that blacks may not be equipped to be in baseball management. That went over well. In 1991, former child actor Adam Rich is arrested for breaking into a pharmacy. In 1992, American chemist and author Isaac Asimov passes away at 72 years old. Also in 1992, in the first game at Camden Field, the Orioles beat the Indians 2-0. In 1992 as well, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that a Nebraska farmer was entrapped by postal agents into buying mail-order child pornography. In 1994, the Rwandan genocide begins today, eventually taking the lives of nearly one million people. Also in 1994, the first ever scheduled Indians night game at Jacobs Field is rained out. In 1996, American actor Marlon Brando makes anti-Semitic remarks on Larry King Live, stating that Jews control Hollywood. In 1998, Travelers Group announces a $76 billion merger between Travelers and Citicorp, which will form Citibank. In 2009, a 6.3 magnitude earthquake struck near L'Aquila, Italy, causing extensive damage and killing more than 300 people. Also in 2009, the J.J. Abrams reboot of Star Trek, starring Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto, premieres in Austin, Texas. In 2013, at the 48th Academy of Country Music Awards, Luke Bryan, Miranda Lambert, and Jason Aldean win. In 2014, American actor Mickey Rooney dies today at age 93. Also in 2014, at the 49th Academy of Country Music Awards, George Strait, Jason Aldean, and Miranda Lambert win. In 2016, France passes legislation making it illegal to pay for sex. Also in 2016, in Mexico, the first baby is born with DNA from three parents through mitochondrial transfer. In 2017, the Chinese president arrives in Florida for discussions with U.S. President Donald Trump. In 2019, the first ever Mars quake seismic event on planet Mars is detected by NASA's InSight lander. In 2020, in the first known case of human-to-cat transmission, Nadia, a tiger at the Bronx Zoo in New York City, tests positive for COVID-19. Also in 2020, the U.S. COVID-19 death toll passes 10,000 in six weeks. And lastly, in 2021, worth $177 billion, Jeff Bezos tops Ford's billionaires list of 2,755 people. Thanks for watching and or listening to today's episode. I appreciate it. I've got a lot more coming. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow.